We've talked about fishing, we've talked about whaling, but we're finding that vishing is becoming all the rage. Vishing is being able to fish information from someone using voice, using the telephone. Because who needs email? You can simply pick up a phone and call someone and get the information right there over the phone. This gives you a direct connection to the victim. You don't need email. Your victim doesn't need email. There's no authentication required. There's no additional technology required. People trust people who are calling them for some reason. And the bad guys can create these connections to the victims. And if you have a little bit more information about the victim or you can get them to provide a level of trust, you can do everything you need to do right Right there over the phone. Most people have phones. There are a lot more phones in the world than email addresses. So if you can now access a group of people that might not be very comfortable with computers, there unfortunately are a number of call center bad guys that are getting together groups of people, calling older people, trying to convince them that we've noticed there are errors from your computer. Let's walk you through fixing the problems. Oh, you've got a big issue. All I need is some money from you and I can solve this issue from you. This vishing is becoming a very, very big problem. So we need to make sure we keep track of who's calling us, what they're looking for, and be able to verify what somebody might be telling us. Another type of vishing is one that is a bit automated. We might get an email, we get, might get a message that's saying our account is locked, or here's a good one, your utilities have been scheduled to be disconnected. It may be a verification. This email is being sent to you to verify that you've called us and said we're going to disconnect your utilities. Your utilities will be disconnected in four hours. If this is a problem, you should call us and, and we'll be able to fix that for us. But of course, we're not really calling a legitimate utility we're calling somebody who's trying to get money or information from us. Maybe your tele cable television move will take place today. Well, I don't want to lose my television. I need to call this number immediately. And when we call it, you are faced with what we would expect, an interactive voice response unit, an IVR. This is, thank you for calling your cable company. Please, please press 1 for this. Please press 2 for this other thing. Please press 3 to cancel the move that was scheduled for today. So we'll press three, and then it wants your social security number. Then it wants your birthday. Then it wants your, your account number, although they really don't have much to do with your account number, but they're gonna gather as much information as possible because all they're doing is typing that in. Another thing the bad guys can often do is also spoof caller ID information. So you'll see an incoming call that says, it's from your cable company. So you'll pick it up and you answer the phone. And because you saw it on caller ID, it looks perfectly legitimate. But the reality is caller ID can be easily spoofed. So you should not trust your caller ID to really tell you legitimate information about who might be calling for you. And a new type of vishing is something called smishing, SMS vishing or SMS phishing. So people are texting you with this information. So you don't get a voicemail saying that your power is going to be turned off. You get an SMS message confirming that your power is going to be turned off and click this phone number right here to talk to somebody to, to make sure that that's not going to happen. So easy, we can click right in that SMS message and it, it dials the number. We've not even verified it's my utility company. I'm just trusting that SMS message coming in. The bad guys are using so many types of voice communication to be able to get this personal information away from us. So anytime we are on the phone or that we're listening to a message or responding to an SMS text, we need to keep in mind and verify that who we're calling and who we're communicating with really is somebody legitimate on the other end.